Hey everybody, it's Jonathan. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a professional cool thumbnail just like the photo that you're seeing on the screen right now. I'm going to show you exactly how to make a thumbnail just like this one. Also, I'm going to show you how to make a transparent photo to put into your thumbnail. As you notice, sometimes when you download Google Images, it has the white box around the photo. I'm going to show you how to remove that white box. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video and we'll show you how to make a very cool thumbnail. Okay, now I'm going to open up Adobe Photoshop CS6 and go to File and select New. Make sure your width is at 1280, your height is at 720, and your resolution is at 72. This is very important. Click OK. You see your white canvas here. So down the left hand corner you see two color boxes. The first color I chose orange. So go ahead and select that, press OK. And the second color I chose just black. So press OK. All right, go up to your gradient tool, select it, go to your middle of the screen, select Shift on your keyboard, click the left button of the mouse, and go all the way down and release the mouse. So you can see the orange and black canvas here. Go up to Filter, go to Distort, and go to Wave. Can you see uh, different settings here? The wavelength is very important. You want it at one for the max minimum, I'm sorry. In your max, you want about at, let's say, 60. And uh, make sure all your settings are just like this and press OK. Oh, one other thing, the number of generators needs to be set at 213. So press OK. Alright, go up to filter once more, go to distort, polar coordinates, and you can see down here, make sure rectangular to polar is selected, and you can see the preview. So select OK, and you can see this really nice background for your thumbnail. Okay, let's add some text, but first let's choose the color of the text to be white. So press OK, and your, uh, just go down here and so start typing some text this make uh, how to make a thumbnail like this all right let's go ahead and add cool to this let's realign this up just make this look a little bit nicer and line everything up here okay now it's all centered pretty good so next what you want to do is highlight the text go up to layer layer style and blending options you want to select stroke and drop shadow Double click stroke and you can see the size here. You can increase it to make the board around the text. So I usually like it to be at nine. Press OK. And you can see how nice that text looks. It just it pops out. Alright, next I want to go to google.com and get an image for my thumbnail. Let's just type in smiley pointing left. And let's click images. And this first image here looks pretty good for the thumbnail. Okay, next what I'm gonna do is drag this image onto my desktop. So let's go ahead and get the image and drag it over. Oops, it ain't one second. Let me do that again. Move it over to the desktop and you can see the image there on my desktop. Okay, now we need to make this photo transparent because it has a white box around the photo. So let's go ahead and choose a new project and go ahead and drag the photo onto the canvas. All right, you can select shift and you can drag to make the photo bigger. Now you want to go over to the right and choose the background and uncheck it. And you can see that white box I was telling you about. 
So we want to remove that. So go on over to your eraser, click on it and hold it until it opens up and go to the magic eraser tool. Go ahead and click on it and go ahead and erase that white box. So you can see here the white box is gone. We now have a transparent image. So go to file, save as. This is very important right here. Let's just go ahead and name it. Um, test, pick, and choose desktop. Now this is a very important step. Make sure the format is in PNG. That's very important. PNG and click save and OK. Alright, you can go ahead and cancel out of that now because the image is on the desktop. So don't save. Let's drag this down. You can see on my desktop the transparent image. So let's go ahead and drag it in. You can see here how it doesn't have a white box around it. So let's go ahead and move it over to where we want it. That should be good there. And click. Okay, the check mark. So as you can see here, this is a very professional thumbnail that will get people to click on your videos. And I uh, see a mistake here. Let me just put a space between cool and thumbnail. Click OK. OK, guys, that was my tutorial on how to make a very cool professional thumbnail. Trust me, guys, I have updated my thumbnails on some of my videos and my views instantly shot up. People need to see thumbnails that look like this. That's very attractive. So it make them click on it. It really does work. So I hope you enjoy this video today. If you did like it, please leave a comment down below and let me know if you did enjoy it. Click that like button as it does help me out a ton. Please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or Tumblr with your friends and hit that yellow subscribe button you see on screen right now if you want to see more tutorials in the future. But I also, my channel is also centered around app reviews, city of tweaks, and Apple news. So if you're interested in any of these topics, please click that subscribe button. So once again, this is Jonathan with today's free apps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.